Navina to the Holy Spirit, Thou hast made known to me the ways of life. Thou shalt make me full of joy with thy countenance. Acts 2.28 Jesus came to earth to die so that we can have real life. Life is from the Greek root word zoe. It doesn't mean just to be alive, but to live fulfilled in body and spirit. On earth we experience zoe by obeying and finding joy in God. We begin by making the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to invoke the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy Spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts and souls of the faithful, by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same Spirit to be truly wise and to ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Holy Spirit, third person of the triune God, we invite the Holy Family, the Holy Angels and Saints, the Holy Souls in Purgatory, on behalf of every creature and of all creation, united in each divine act, past, present and future, from the spark of creation until the end of time, fused in the divine will for all time, to join us to pray this Novena. Prayer for the Novena to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, third person of the Blessed Trinity, Spirit of truth, love and holiness, proceeding from the Father and the Son, and equal to them in all things, I adore thee and love thee with all my heart. Dearest Holy Spirit, confiding in thy deep personal love for me, I am making this novena, if it should be thy holy will, to grant it for the following request, for justice and truth in every nation and in the Holy Catholic Church, according to God's will, fiat. Teach me, Divine Spirit, to know and to seek my last end. Grant me the holy fear of God. Grant me true contrition and patience. Do not let me fall into sin. Give me an increase of faith, hope and charity and bring forth in my soul all the virtues proper to my state of life. Make me a faithful disciple of Jesus and an obedient child of the church. Give me efficacious grace sufficient to keep the commandments and to receive the sacraments worthily. Give me the four cardinal virtues, thy seven gifts and twelve fruits. Raise me to perfection in the state of life to which thou hast called me and lead me through a happy death to everlasting life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The anointing of the Holy Spirit, one with Louisa, in the most holy divine will. Abba Father, in the name of Jesus, in the unity, power and love of the Holy Spirit on this solemnity of Pentecost under the mantle of the Blessed Virgin Mary with all the angels and saints through the intercession of the little daughter of the Divine Will, Luisa Picaretta, on behalf of all souls past, present and future, we make this prayer in the Holy Divine Will, one with Luisa, to fulfill all the requests of our Lord and our Blessed Mother and Queen, that they receive the requital from the Holy Church and all their children. Please accept this solemn act of reparation and consecration of Russia, the United States and all nations, and we beg you, come Holy Spirit. May the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Eucharistic reign of the Sacred Heart of Jesus be established. We are sorrowful for all evils that mankind has done. We wish to anoint your wounds and make reparation that you, Lord, arise within us as we lay down our lives with Louisa to be bound to the love of the divine will, that the Holy Spirit may blow his divine breath in us continuously in union with the Holy Trinity to love you with your love to become living hosts for the mission of the divine will, to requite the Holy Spirit with his love, 
to know and receive all the relations and bonds of sanctity and receive all the bilocations of the acts of Louisa as anointed children of the divine will never doing our human will to receive the blessing of all to thank Our Lady, Mother and Queen of the Divine Will, and to thank God for giving Mary to us, to be little hosts who live in the temple of God, to possess all, to glorify you and love you for everyone and everything. May you find everything in us. Find your Mama Mary, your Father, the Holy Spirit, and your divine love in us, to say to you, glory and love to our Creator. At any cost we give our lives to live in the fiat. Please take our humble prayer and make it your command. And may this be the beginning of the coming of the Kingdom upon earth and the fulfillment of your divine will. Please take this humble appeal that of fusing in the order of grace in everything the sanctifier has done and shall do for those who are to be sanctified. May the spouse and temple of the Holy Spirit, Mary Most Holy, make the Holy Spirit descend into all souls through little Louisa, the reflection of the Holy Spirit, to burn away all that is of human will, and by his refreshing breath rule and confirm all souls in the divine will, so that the Holy Spirit may receive the recital of love in each baptism, restoring innocence, in each confirmation, rendering souls invisible, in each sacrament of penance, where Jesus' blood gives back lost grace, in all the tabernacles, and each sacramental host, which form, grow and develop, the life of God in all, where each can say, I am another Christ, in each ordination, constituting men to a supreme height, repeater of Jesus' life, administer of the sacraments, revealer of God's secrets, the gospel of the most sacred science, peacemaker between heaven and earth, and bearer of Jesus to souls, placing all other sacraments in safety, in each sacrament of marriage, sacred bond and symbol of the sacrosanct trinity, and in each sacrament of extreme unction, the final clothing of the soul. We pray that the divine will reign in all souls with absolute dominion. Lord, just as you anointed David, anoint us all, with your holy oil, with the oil of gladness above our fellows, so that the Spirit of the Lord shall be upon us, because the Lord has anointed us. Anoint us, Father, as you anointed Jesus with the spiritual oil of the Holy Spirit, that we may be sanctified by the holy and life-giving Spirit through the divinity of Christ. Anoint us, with an invisible strength in such a way that nothing else shall be able to enter the so very high fences of your kingdom. Restore and heal us with your breath, the breath of the Holy Spirit, which breathing continuously into us shall keep us always ignited and consumed for love of him. Truly loving with this love, may the Holy Spirit put his flame on the way toward us and bind us with the relations of his sanctity one with louisa in the mission of your divine will braid us with the bond of inseparability with jesus mary and louisa and make us your living hosts heal our human wills by giving them again the life of your divine will and as though by magic all the evils of the human nature shall have life no more. In this way, we shall be like skin to the body of your church and like circulation of life for all the members who shall give the proper growth to the members which have not grown. 
who shall heal the wounded members and who shall restore the freshness, the beauty, the splendor of the whole mystical body by our continuous living in your will. We pray you to fulfill all our petitions, save our anointed and hear us from your holy heaven that all may be accomplished and completed in your most holy divine will. We believe, we receive. Fiat. Amen. Prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. The seven gifts are wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude or courage, knowledge, piety and fear of God. Blessed Spirit of Wisdom, help me to seek God, make Him the centre of my life and order my life to Him so that love and harmony may reign in my soul. Blessed Spirit of Understanding, enlighten my mind that I may know and love the truths of faith and make them truly my own. Blessed Spirit of Counsel, enlighten and guide me in all my ways that I may know and do your holy will. Make me prudent and courageous. Blessed Spirit of Fortitude, uphold my soul in every time of trouble or adversity. Make me loyal and confident. Blessed Spirit of Knowledge, help me to know good from evil. Teach me to do what is right in the sight of God. Give me clear vision and firmness in decision. Blessed Spirit of Piety, possess my heart. Incline it to a true faith in you, to a holy love of you, my God, that with my whole soul I may seek you, who are my Father, and I find you my best, my truest joy. Blessed Spirit of Holy Fear, penetrate my inmost heart, that I may be mindful of your presence. Make me fly from sin, and give me intense reverence for God, and for my fellow men, who are made in God's image. Novena to the Holy Spirit Day 6 Come, O Spirit of Knowledge, grant that I may come to know Thee so evermore, and treasure all the mysteries of salvation, and the promise of our inheritance, together with all the holy angels and saints. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with Thee. Blessed art Thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of Thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
come Holy Spirit, creator blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Amen. The Virtues From the Catechism of the Catholic Church, CCC number 1805 Whatever is true, whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is an excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. A virtue is an habitual and firm disposition to do the good. It allows the person not only to perform good acts, but to give the best of himself. The virtuous person tends toward the good with all his sensory and spiritual powers. He pursues the good and chooses it in concrete actions. The goal of a virtuous life is to become like God. The four cardinal virtues. If anyone loves righteousness, wisdom's labours are virtues, for she teaches temperance, prudence, justice and courage, also known as fortitude. Man is a debtor chiefly to his parents and his country after God. Wherefore, just as it belongs to religion to give worship to God, so it belongs to piety in the second place to show reverence to one's parents and one's country. St. Thomas Aquinas Prayer for the Twelve Fruits of the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit, eternal love of the Father and the Son, kindly bestow upon me the fruit of charity that I may be united to you by divine love, the fruit of joy, that I may be filled with holy consolation, and the fruit of peace, that I may enjoy tranquility of soul, and the fruit of patience, that I may endure humbly everything that may be opposed to my own desires. Divine Spirit, be pleased to infuse in me the fruit of kindness, that I may willingly relieve my neighbour's necessities, the fruit of goodness, that I may be benevolent toward all, the fruit of long-suffering, that I may not be discouraged by delay, but may persevere in prayer, and the fruit of humility, that I may subdue every rising of ill temper, stifle every murmur, and repress the negative responsiveness of my nature, in all my dealings with my neighbour. Creator Spirit, graciously impart to me the fruit of fidelity, that I may rely with assured confidence on the word of God, the fruit of modesty, that I may order and respect my exterior regularly, and the fruits of continence and chastity, that I may keep my body in such holiness as befits your temple so that having by your assistance preserved my heart pure on earth, I may merit in Jesus Christ, according to the words of the Gospel, to see God eternally in the glory of his kingdom. Amen. Act of Consecration to the Holy Spirit On my knees, before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body to thee, Eternal Spirit of God, I adore the brightness of thy purity, the unerring keenness of thy justice, and the might of thy love. Thou art the strength and light of my soul. In thee I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve thee by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against thee. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for thy light and listen to thy voice and follow thy gracious inspirations. I cling to thee and give myself to thee and ask thee by thy compassion to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart, 
I implore the adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, so to keep me in thy grace, that I may never sin against thee. Give me grace, O Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to thee always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. Amen. Litany of the Holy Spirit Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Divine Essence, one true God, have mercy on us. Spirit of truth and wisdom, have mercy on us. Spirit of holiness and justice, have mercy on us. Spirit of understanding and counsel, have mercy on us. Spirit of love and joy, have mercy on us. Spirit of peace and patience, have mercy on us. Spirit of longanimity and meekness, have mercy on us. Spirit of benignity and goodness, have mercy on us. Love, substantial of the Father and the Son, have mercy on us. Love and life of saintly souls, have mercy on us. Fire ever burning, have mercy on us. Living water to quench the thirst of hearts, have mercy on us. O Holy Spirit, from all evil deliver us. O Holy Spirit, from all impurity of soul and body, deliver us. O Holy Spirit, from all gluttony and sensuality, deliver us. O Holy Spirit, from all attachments to the things of the earth, deliver us. O Holy Spirit, from all hypocrisy and pretense, deliver us. O Holy Spirit, from all imperfections and deliberate faults, deliver us. O Holy Spirit, from self-love and self-judgment, deliver us. O Holy Spirit, from our own will, deliver us. O Holy Spirit, from slander, deliver us. O Holy Spirit, from deceiving our neighbours, deliver us. O Holy Spirit, from our passions and disorderly appetites, deliver us. O Holy Spirit, from our inattentiveness to thy holy inspirations, deliver us. O Holy Spirit, from despising little things, deliver us. O Holy Spirit, from debauchery and malice, deliver us. O Holy Spirit, from love of comfort and luxury, deliver us. O Holy Spirit, from wishing to seek or desire anything other than thee, deliver us. O Holy Spirit, from everything that displeases thee, deliver us. O Holy Spirit, most loving Father, forgive us. Divine Word, have pity on us. Holy and Divine Spirit, leave us not until we are in possession of the Divine Essence, Heaven of Heavens. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, send us the Divine Counselor. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, Fill us with the gifts of thy Spirit. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, make the fruits of the Holy Spirit increase within us. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy Spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, send now your Spirit over the earth. Let the Holy Spirit live in the hearts of all nations that they may be preserved from degeneration, disaster and war. May the Lady of all nations, the Blessed Virgin Mary, be our advocate. Amen.
we conclude by making the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.